Well, look at this. It seems that members of the Walled Garden are starting to realize that what happens in the Walled Garden stays there forever. So about a week ago, a user on the iOS subreddit made a post that has now been removed by the moderators of r slash iOS, which I don't think is a coincidence because the implications of this post being true, the happenings that are described in this post being true, could have a huge negative impact on people's faith in Apple's walled garden. I mean, a phone that keeps copies of compromising photos of you even after you deleted them and potentially even after you've sold that phone or given it away to someone else who can now see it because of some kind of glitch is probably the most severe consequence of proprietary software that I think a regular person could easily understand. Uh, but you know, luckily, I have an archive of this post, so the Reddit mod censorship will hopefully be in vain. Latest iOS update has brought back some pictures I deleted in 2021. So yeah, very creepy, thoroughly freaked out, just completed the update when in conversation with my partner, I went to send a picture and saw that the latest pictures were NSFW material we had made years ago back when we were living apart uh, because of COVID. But WTF, it was permanently deleted years ago, but magically it's back. I checked my iPad and it also has pictures, some artwork I did years ago. I feel so uncomfortable anyone else got this issue. I mean, with pictures coming back post update. And then there's an edit that says it looks like a bunch of tech sites are talking about it. Let's see if it goes anywhere. Uh, so yeah, the mods were a little too slow to act and delete this post. Now, when I first saw it, when I first saw this post, I was thinking about how when you delete something, it isn't really deleted because you can use forensic tools, data recovery tools to recover deleted data from drives, or at least data that's deleted in the conventional sense. But that's not exactly what we're talking about here. When you delete photos on iOS, they go into a recently deleted folder. Same thing happens on Android, and after 30 days, the photos are supposed to be permanently deleted. And these NSFW pictures, uh, they were deleted years ago. So, you know, in theory, they should really be gone by now. But for some reason, an iOS update restored them. Uh, and someone else said that this had been going on with pics that they had taken back in 2010. And I think that this, along with some of the other comments that people have made about this happening to them as well, it seems to imply that this is some kind of an iCloud syncing issue. Like some people have talked about pictures that they've deleted years ago, then they show up on new devices that they get. Um, and, you know, I would imagine that like this person here talking about pictures that they took back in 2010, that the phone that took those pictures and maybe that the pictures were deleted from isn't even in service anymore and hasn't been for years. So how did the pictures get onto the phone that the person's using now? And you see, this is the real danger. The, the photos being in the cloud is a real danger with a bug like this because for people that are really paranoid about data being deleted, the physical destruction of the medium that stores the data is always an option to them, right? They can microwave or, you know, break their phone with a hammer or something like that. And really, I mean, if you really want to make sure some data is gone, that is the best option. Uh, I mean, that's probably the reason why governments shred hard drives and stuff like that, because even though you could wipe a drive, you can fully delete all the data that's on it, format it, and then you can fill it with random bytes that are overwriting the data that was there. Uh, so that should theoretically make the data on it unrecoverable. But 
That type of deletion process only works if the firmware that controls the drive isn't malicious, right? Or at least that you have full control of it, which of course you usually don't because it's proprietary. Uh, so yeah, you can physically destroy the device to get rid of the data that's on it, but you can't physically destroy data that's in Apple's cloud. It's saved in data centers all over the world and who knows what they're doing with it. I mean, clearly they're not deleting it, uh, all the time at least, when you try to delete it. One user claimed that they had wiped their iPad and sold it, and they wiped it according to Apple's official guidelines on doing so when you're gonna give away or sell the device. And so after the person who bought this person's iPad updated it, to iOS 17.5 or iPadOS 17.5, the photo suddenly reappeared. So whether you've drank the apple flavor Kool-Aid and you're an intentional iPhone or iPad or whatever user, and or if you're just the kind of person whose job supplies them with one, whatever the situation is, don't put any data through it that you'd want to delete later or that you'd be embarrassed about somebody else seeing because Apple might not actually let you delete it.